Gemini. Welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. And happy birthday, all of you tuning in today. It is your season. Today, we're taking a look at what this full moon is activating within you. A lot of this uh, is internal. Some of it might be external. Most of my monthly, mid-monthly, even the romantic readings that I've added have to do with situations. Now, we're going to talk about that, but this full moon specifically, we have a focal point around what is it inspiring? What is it that is inspiring within you, this moon, to change? So you can bring in more magnificence in June. We're doing some investigating. We're digging in this reading, okay? We're going to start out with an activation, what the frequency is of this moon that's bringing into the Gemini Collective, and then we're going to back it up with some tarot messages. Thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Geminis today. Thank you for your love, your guidance, your very presence. All right. Birthday, Geminis. Happy, happy, right? One more shuffle. And then we're going to pull the frequency. And then we're going to... I'm doing a little bit more of a bare bone tarot spread than my usual. Just to simplify the message today. What's going on for you, Geminis? What's the frequency? What's that song? R.E.M. What's the frequency, Kenneth? And that's an old one. I used to live in Athens, Georgia. All you people in Georgia, hi. I loved it in Athens. I saw some really grunt, like grunge bands back in the day there. I actually saw L7, if you can believe that, if anyone know, knows who that is. This girl band that was just, it was one of the most wildest nights I've ever had. And I'm not going to reveal anything on YouTube about that. All right. Oh, the things we do in our youth. Okay. Woo! This one. This one. What is this? Conception. Ooh. What does this entail? This full moon Gemini. Look at that. Now that is, that's, some, that's intense. The frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. This is the uh, number 16, which breaks down to seven. This is very spiritually aware uh, vibration. This feels like the fool's energy, zero point. We're, we're creativity. You could be really conceiving of um, new ideas, uh, you could be getting downloads around new inspirations that you want to take out into the world. Ooh, this is about your soul origins, you know, and I apologize. This dog has been barking all morning. I took a break just to see if he would maybe take a nap, but they're doing construction somewhere around the neighborhood and he just, he is so fired up about what's going on around him. And I apologize. I should give him a name, but he just, he's just a barker and I've talked to neighbors about it. It's one of those things. You know, you are clearing up some fears around your ability to really live in a state of balance, which is really a reflection of what you feel on the inside and having everything aligned outside. And that's what you, it feels like that's what you've been working on. Clearing it out, clearing it out, releasing, releasing fear, Gemini. All right, let's see, conception. Wow, you're going to really beautiful base energy here. Almost in like probably, it reminds me of of maybe what we deal with when we're on the other side, when we start planning out a life and the very beginning stages of anything is full of so much excitement, right? It's like getting giddy, right? You could be planning something that's the very, very beginning, whether you're going on a way on a trip or you're, something, something new and fresh and magical is coming your way. Yeah. And this is exciting. The Page of Wands is a very, everyone is getting this card in the pre-shuffle, which is spirit wants us to lighten up, play, enjoy. Mother Nature is, this is a fertile time for Mother Nature. We need to do as Mother Nature does. Go out and play. Like we were little kids, right? Bring out that, that little kid in you. My daughter and I are watching this Survivor finale. And you know what? I watched that. They're on like season freaking 46. I have literally not watched it since like season one and two. And my daughter and I said, let's just watch this for fun. And one of the characters was like, he won a challenge. It was some sort of pinko related challenge. And he's like, the, like this was the little kid that didn't really get picked. And 
you know, you might be going through, they, they wanted to remind me of the story because you might be getting picked and it's going to bring out something about your inner child that felt rejected or less than, and you could be getting tapped for something or you could win at something that is, is quite an achievement because it's going to kick back to your childhood and bring out this like delight within you. I'm getting that, that you're stepping into something that's going to reunite you with the childlike part of yourself. Nope. Ten of, of Swords wanted to peek out there. The awareness of whatever has to end, Gemini, in your life so you can begin again. Fresh energy. Ooh. Ten of Wands. It's time to drop whatever burdens you've been carrying. Some of you have been taking on too many responsibilities. Or maybe that's the way you approach your life. Like you've got to take care of all of these tasks and it's a burden. Whatever is burdening you, let it go. Okay, it could be something that's been on your mind. Something that a lot of times when we feel the Ten of Wands, it's an energy of doing like something that's really hard for you to carry. And it's like, I can't take one more thing, universe. So whatever is this one more thing, what are you allowing, right? What are you, what do you need to let release that is hard? And I'm, this is coming up for everyone because this is what we need to release the burdens and the responsibilities, at least the mentality of that. So we can lighten up and, and find a playful, cheerful buoyancy again in the day-to-day -day existence. Ooh, Four of Wands is the opportunity. This card can signify a lot of things. It's about basically a happy home life, a happy family life, being um, in a stable environment, enjoying where you live. You might have a lot of responsibilities in your home life and it's like, oh, you know, got to cook, got to clean, you know, or I got to like, you know, pay for everything. It's like that whole backbreaking work that we have to do just to survive. And there's something around you coming into an attitude of play that will help at least take some of the load off of you. The challenge is the moon. You've got some uncertainty that you're facing. This moon is revealing a lot. This is a direct message from the moon itself, the Sagittarius full moon. It's really speaking to you around your home life and what's hard for you. Hidden truth, the magician, yeah. Woo, you are definitely harnessing your manifestation powers right now and taking a stand. I think you've been in a time out for a little bit and you were going towards something very successful. It's a feeling. It's a feeling that is almost, it's felt like something's been out of reach for you, Gemini. Let's see what's going on here. It's around your own feeling of value. Like, do you feel worthy without having to do so much? Can you, do you feel worthy just being you? Or do you feel like you have to prove how worthy you are by how much you accomplish? Can you feel worthy and deserving without having to do, lift a finger? Yeah, you are. You're, you're opening up and you're bringing your heart with you into something brand new. Queen of Cups, the Fool. I'm not surprised we got the Fool energy here. You're conceiving of something. You're trying to see it through. What is this Ten of Wands? The overall general energy. This is the time period at the end of May. Yeah, a lot of you have been feeling restricted around where you are now and the abundance you're trying to bring in in what I call life's riches. Also, the nine of, the, we have the Nine of Pentacles and a feeling of you can't quite get there quite yet. All right. So you might be working very hard and yet you're not making the advances that you want to make. Or you could feel really independent and you're taking care of everything, but something's lacking. That's what you're working on manifesting. What I, I can't wait to see. In fact, they want me to go here next. You were wrapping up a cycle where you couldn't, you're reaching for something, but you felt like you couldn't quite bring it in. It's almost like, you know, like when you're trying to, you're trying to reach for something in the upper cupboard and you're like, oh, I need a, I need a helping hand. I need a lift, you know? So you could be working, 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 and now it's like spirit coming in and giving you a little bit of a lift to make up for that difference. Spirit sees the effort you're trying to make in your, in your life to really elevate in, in feeling more abundant and also more independent. 
So you focus more on you. I feel like a lot of you have a lot that you have to tend to in your home life. And you never feel quite like it's just about you. It's just for you. What is for you, Gemini? And what you're doing is you're wrapping up a cycle right now where you were carrying a heavy load, and but it was around you feeling like you couldn't quite get to where you want to be. And that feeling, I'm getting this feeling of frustration. And Spirit is saying you have everything at your disposal right now to manifest and move past the frustration. I think this is about you reaching your goals around financial security and also emotional independence. And the ways we feel a little bit held back by just the heaviness of the day to day. Let's keep going. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Show me Four of Wands is the opportunity this moon is bringing in to secure. What are you securing here? Wow, so many are getting uh, changes in, in their connections. This is similar to Libra in some ways because you're, when it comes to this has a lot to do with your belief system because we talked about this feeling of play. Where is your inner child in the burdens that you carry at home? I feel like you, I'm getting this overall feeling that you don't feel appreciated for all the things that you do and you take it on and you are a warrior and you, but you're confused because it's like the more you give, the more heavy it gets. And the more, it's almost like you don't give yourself permission to to play because you're like, no, I got to do this. I got to do that. I don't have time for that. And spirit is like, what if you just connected with your inner child and played? Beyond your self reflection here, when it comes to an external connection, we have the six of cups. You're confused about something that you are connecting to. This is a person, right? And about whether you want to stay. This could be someone you live with. It could be a friend you live with, or it could be a lover that you live with, a family member that you live with. And some of you are thinking about leaving home, whatever, or depart leaving. There's some confusion about whether should I stay or should I go? This is such a big part of my support and structure. But Ten of Swords is when we reach the ending. And when it comes to this, it's either you're going through a rite of passage and you're clearing up some confusion on how to take care of and nurture yourself, and consider, and consider your needs, or this is literally more a, an external thing where you are moving on from your home and there's been some mental challenges, we'll say. I feel like you've been having some disagreements with someone in your life and it hits close to home and it's triggering a lot within you and I think you're confused about how to handle it because Ten of Swords is when we're like, and also the Ten of Wands is like, okay, whew, I need to release this spirit. And I and I and it's like spirit sending you this spirit of openness and risk taking and thinking bigger. And you're like, I, I I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, you're being guided to go through a very beautiful transformation right now because something has gotten a little bit unhealthy. It's almost like something's been holding you back. Let's see the moon here. The challenge. I apologize. You know, it is spring, summer. We got all kinds of noises going on out there. Ooh, you're getting... This is about your communication. Yeah. This moon is revealing the people that you want to work with and the people you don't. It feels like a, a little bit of a mix. I don't, some of you might be actually working with people that you live with because I'm getting a home environment and the opportunity, but in the challenge, it has some like threads of, of work. And if it's not about work, it's the finances that are suffering and it's causing stress. It's causing strained communication because there's a lot of unknowns. Some of you are thinking about moving on from a job and you're getting communication from this full moon and the challenge is making the decisions around, okay, I'm reaching, Spirit's giving me a boost. They're helping me, right? Closing the gap between where I am and where I want to be, what I'm manifesting. There are new opportunities coming in in this new cycle where you didn't feel like you were really bringing in what you wanted and things became heavy. 
I think that you've been going through some challenges with a connection in your home life and you're thinking about ending that. Simultaneously, you're being guided out of that and toward new collaborations and new connections in your work life that are actually going to open up a new pathway for you. The challenge is, is you, this isn't, that hasn't arrived yet, but I think you're sitting here in a little bit of worry and doubt and confusion. This is if it's all external to you, but I think from an internal perspective here, you're coming out of a state of repression where you feel the burdens of your day to day and your duties and your obligations and your responsibilities. And spirit is saying, let's change that and move away and allow yourself to open up to the universe and collaborate with people and come out of hiding and enjoy your life again. There's something around you being repressed in some way from feeling abundant. And it's hitting close to home and it's hitting close to work. And you're trying to manifest your way out of it. What is the magician here? This is the hidden truth. You are manifesting your way out of something that has been heavy you, you've been thinking about change, massive change. It's like usually this happens too. When you change something around your personal life, it hits every part of your life. Or when you change something around your work life, it changes every part of your life because you change. You're changing, Gemini. You're changing. Because you're calling in a frequency of manifestation. And when we do that, it's going to bring great change. Yeah, and you're stressed out about whether this is going to come through. You're stressed out about something that you're not sure if it's going to come through or not. Air has been up, is up in their head during this time period. I'm not sure why. The air signs. Libra had a similar vibe where it was just like fear of the unknown. Feeling a little bit burdened on the path. Like, spirit, you've given me a, too much of an assignment here. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I'm laughing because it's like, all right. I know. Life can get hard sometimes. It can. I'm right here with you. Yeah, it can. You have the tower, the nine of swords, and the hangman sideways. I think you're coming out of a pause. You could you could have difficult communication or have had difficult communication either before the moon or during the moon or right now coming into this reading. And it's, sh it's shifting your life. I almost feel like it's time to speak up about your needs, Gemini. It's time. It's time to put yourself first. You're in a trial. It's almost like, please, for the love of God. And you're like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to communicate. I'm going to talk about the things that I'm hiding. I'm going to open up and come what may, it may mean I leave a situation, but at least we'll be on the same page. That's what I'm hearing. And you're manifesting your way out of something that's been on your mind that you've been really stressed out about mentally. Nine of swords. It's going to create a tower. And you're like, come what may, I'm manifesting this. And you're, you want to come out of stagnation. I think you've been holding in something long enough. There's, this feels like an important conversation is happening because of this moon. And it may lead to you being in a brand new beginning and an, and an ending. Yeah, the fool. Thank you, spirit. This fool, you're realizing you're ready to take a risk and you're ready. It's like there's something you don't trust right now. You've been going within. You're going after a higher wish fulfillment, especially in something that you love, but I think it's going to require you to transform and let go of something first. And there's some resistance. I think you've been resistant to change. And I know, I know y'all, I know how hard it is. We're going to get more into the nitty gritty in June, but this is just kind of the things that you're grappling with. Yeah, this moon is bringing a judgment call. What is this judgment call, Gemini? And this is the thing that I'm telling every sign and what the lesson is for this moon, because I got it downloaded to me from Spirit. Listen, when it comes to anything in your life, personal or professional, does this career make you feel the way you want to feel? Does this relationship make you feel the way you want to feel? And if it doesn't, please don't hold it in. Absorbing energies and stuffing them doesn't help. It just creates more disturbances inside. And you don't want that, Gemini. You do not want that. I feel like you're getting some answers. The challenge is, are you going to, hate, are you going to listen? You are going to have an opportunity to, to come back together with someone and get on the same page. All right. But there might be a tower moment underneath all this where you really need to be honest. All right. Wow. You may have someone. You may have someone who. You may have someone who, who is interested in you that you don't even know about. 
Interesting. Okay, I just got that. There's a surprise offer here. There's a surprise offer. Someone's handing you their cup. Maybe it's an apology. I think you, you might get a surprise apology here and you've been stressed about something. Again, I'm sorry for the outside noise. It's unavoidable. All right. Or I don't know if I've already said that to you. Yeah, you're going within. This is the advice from a spirit. Hermit, really consider this. If you're getting handed an offer, really consider it. I'm getting that message. Yeah, definitely taking a stand, walking away from any conflict, going within. I think someone wants to come in and apologize. You've been confused about a situation. The communication, you need to communicate. Yeah, this is about your security as well. Feeling at peace inside. The Queen of Pentacles is very grounded energy. So whatever has been making you feel a little bit restless. I feel a restless energy and a reevaluation of an important soul contract. If not, this is also you dropping the burden of all of your responsibilities and obligations and really choosing play. Play. So you can come back into balance. No matter what you're dealing with, whatever hardship you're dealing with, Gemini, this period of time leading up to June between the Sagittarius full moon and, and the first few days of June is a time for you to get out, right? Have that time within yourself because you're clearing up some difficult emotions, ground in nature, right? Queen of Pentacles knows how to ground in nature. All right, look at that. She's got her actual um, dress and her um, headdress is touching the earth. So this is like planting your seeds, planting your, your seat of empowerment in the ground. I feel like getting out in nature is going to be really helpful for you. You're conceiving of, of almost a brand new life or a brand new way of operating where you don't have to take on all of these heavy burdens. I think you need to speak up about what you need and, get, and ask for help from those around you and also from spirit. It's not about you kind of like being the martyr, taking on all the all of it on your own, okay? Let's get the Magical Spirit Oracle. This is going to solidify the message. Let's see what this has to say for all of you Geminis out there. Whoop, whoop. What is the card? Ooh, that one wanted to come flying out. Ooh, who had this? I don't think anyone's had this, but I, I had a feeling. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. Liberation. Just let me be. <laughs> Which maybe you might be telling somebody in your life. Just let me be, please. Free spirit. Wild, authentic. Yeah, this is about lightening up your energy, too. I love this card. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. 43-7, which is a very spiritual number. I am unapologetically being myself. I connect with my wild Yes, Gemini, this is the season you need to do it. Raging waters, the one who cannot be caged, the wildflower, the heart that is free, the liberated spirit is not one who has been who has changed or is different now. They just stop being everything they are not. They stop being who others wanted them to be. How the world said they should be. The free spirit calls you near, Gemini. Carefree and unapologetic, they dance barefoot beneath the full moon. Hair flying in the wind. They swim naked in the vast ocean, feeling big and small all at once. This is the vibration of your birthday, all right? It doesn't matter who may be watching. It isn't for others. It's for the revival and invigoration of their own spirit. It is to connect with the great goddess. The free spirit runs barefoot, and, and there's no... It's no wonder we're hearing airplanes over above. It's like, it's time for a new adventure. It's time, for, it's time for a new adventure, Gemini. The free spirit runs barefoot on endless fields of wildflowers and even wildfires, following her bliss, chasing her passion, and listening to her intuition. Over all else, she values the freedom of her soul and the adventure of her life. She drinks straight from the cool, clear waterfall of what spirit, what I was telling you, asking for help, of what spirit has to bring her. Tears of gratitude fill her eyes as she deeply appreciates the fullness of her existence, appreciating the so muchness of it all. Pulling this card, Gemini, invites you to welcome more of this energy at this time. There is an irresistible freedom that comes with connecting to this part of the divine feminine. It is wild, unapologetic, and faithfully surrendered. It is unhinged, unfiltered, erratic, creative bliss, and we need it or our soul cannot thrive. 
Our primal self needs to let out a loud yell every now and then. The wild animal within us must be allowed to break free. This is part of keeping a healthy soul. Break free. Drop the burden. Reach for spirit's hand. Wrap up the cycle that has been very hard and confusing. This is a manifestation enhancer. It's funny. I didn't include this part for the fire signs, but I'm doing it for the air signs because it's pertinent work. All right. This is your manifestation enhancer. So you might want to grab a pencil or a pen. Do something that will allow you to tap into the free spirit energy. What would make you come alive, Gemini? Feel alive. Feel liberated. It could be an element of expression or a cathartic release, creative, emotional, or physical. It could simply be to care less about the opinions of other, others and more about the health of your own soul. This is what I mean. Do something bold and freeing at this time, something you wouldn't normally allow yourself to do. <laughs> All right. See, life is an adventure. This is your pathway of liberation leading up to June. All right, sweethearts. I'll see you for the June reading. Many blessings to you, my dears.